Um, on the 25th of April this year, uh, Louis Le Brocchi, who many regard, and ourselves included, as the greatest Irish artist of the 20th century, or at least of his generation, uh, passed away. He was 95 years old. He painted and drew for over 80 years. We indeed sold a, a drawing, a watercolour, uh, executed by him in, when he was only 15 years old. And he was exhibiting new works up to about 10 years ago. So it's an it was an amazing career. He produced some wonderful works. Uh, we are privileged to have some of those works here today. Um, we have in lots 43, 44, 45 and 46, a, a nice selection of interesting works, particularly lot 43 here, which uh, Louis came to see here about uh, five or six years ago because he was fascinated by it. It was his first watercolour head. And when we showed it to him, you could see in his eyes and his face that he was delighted to see this old friend again. Uh, it is up for auction now estimated at uh, 25 to 35,000 euro. It's an extremely important uh, picture. So, so much so, in fact, it was uh, exhibited in the famous Rusk exhibition of 1971. Uh, we also have a, a, a wonderful drawing in the head series here, uh, a lovely little charcoal drawing of W.B. Yeats, and that's uh, lot 45, a study towards W.B. Yeats, estimated four to 6,000 euro. Uh, and also in the watercolours, Louis was a particularly good watercolourist. He was actually good at every medium that he, that he attempted. Um, this one here, which is lot uh, 44, is part of his landscape series of the 1990s. And uh, it, this one is the Curra. Uh, and then again, another excellent watercolour is Being 1998, a more recent one. Um, 44, the cur is estimated at five to six thousand euro, and uh, the being is estimated at ten to fifteen thousand euro, and it's a, a nice little selection of works. To my mind, one of the great things about Louis Le Brocchi is that he made his work accessible to all levels of collector, in the same way as Jack Yates did too. So he produced. Uh, not just great oil paintings, which would fetch a lot of money, but he also produced drawings, watercolours, and he produced a great series of lithographs, which could be purchased for a few hundred pounds in the old days, and in fact even as low as 50, 100 pounds when he started. And this means that there is a great body of work available to collectors for every budget. And Louis Le Brocchi, I think that's something that will stand to his stead forever. Mm -hmm.